Hello guys and welcome to this short demonstration of how to work wirelessly with the IntelliTech light sticks. A couple of days ago I was working on the open box and quick demonstration of the light sticks from IntelliTech and I was surprised in how useful, practical and easy to use they are. What we have here in front of us is the light sticks mini. This is the shorter version but this demonstration can work for either the regular version which is 24 inches long or this version, the mini version which is 19 inches long. The unit is powered on in the back and on my hands I have an exact copy of this light. I'm gonna turn mine on. Both units need to be on the same wireless channel. In this case is the A channel. On each of these lights including the longer version, you have three different channels and you can plug as many lights as you want on the same channel. So what I wanted to show you is how this light works controlling it from another light. First, I'm gonna power up my light, power on already, and I'm gonna work on the dimmer. There you see, as you see, there is nobody or nothing working with this light on the back. I can go all the way up or I can go all the way down until I turn it off. I can increase not only the power of this light, but also I can modify the Kelvin color on it, or the color of the light. In this case, we have it on 3200. I'm gonna switch it to 5000. Now I'm gonna switch it to 5600. And now I'm gonna switch it all the way up to 8000. As you see, Nobody's touching this light. I am controlling this light from the unit that I have on my hand. Now for you to see how this works, I'm gonna place both lights in front of the camera and you will see the changes as I perform them. What we have here are two lights mounted in one of the brackets that IntelliTech sent us. One of the light is facing the camera and the other one is facing away. So you guys can see the changes that I made in one light, how it affects the other light. The first light on the top is on already. I'm gonna turn the bottom one on. There you go, nothing happens because my dimmer is completely to zero. As you see here, my wireless channel is on group A. As you see, we have three different channels. Now I'm gonna start going up on the dimmer. I'm gonna start, as soon as I start going up, the top light is working. And the reason it's working is because I have the bottom light on the same channel. Let me demonstrate if I change the channel on the bottom here, nothing is gonna happen. Now I can go up and down on this light and nothing is happening to the top one. So I'm gonna go off, I'm gonna go to channel A, and as soon as I go to channel A, the top light, because it's being the slave light, is changing to get the same power as I have my bottom light. Now, if I start working with the top light, the bottom one is gonna become the slave light. Basically, any changes that you made to any light on any of the channels or group it will affect all of the other lights. Not only with the dimmer, but also with the color of the light. And that is amazing. I really like it because you can use three different channels and position any light or any amount of light that you want on any of those channels. And if you make any changes to any of the light on the same channel, they will all switch to the same settings. Now, if you don't want that to happen, if you don't want, for example, to the top one to change when you switch any of the other light, or if I don't want this light to change, if I perform a change on the top one, I just go to my channel and hit off. Once it is off, whatever I do to any of the other light is not gonna affect my light. 